Hey, Jolene. Bro, this how this how meticulous I am. I could have sworn that was that's a little faster than you usually play that. Yeah, that's like that. Yeah, the drugs can kick in when they get to that speed. Okay, <laughs> 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 when the dope kick in when they get to that speed, you know. Like, oh, looking around like, oh shit. <laughs> I think this shit working, my nigga. <laughs> what was in there? What was in there? <laughs> what was that you gave me? I don't know, bro, but it's working. That shit working now. Hey, man, I like that. But I need you, hold up, I had a special request. I know you over there and you vibing, bro, but I need you to play me something to just let the world know that I got the juice. You feel me? That's what I'm feeling like today. I feel like they need to know that I got the juice. I'm feeling real juicy today. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like, like I feel, I'm juice-ish. juice -ish. Yeah. yeah, juicy. Like niggas called the police on you when you just trying to make some money to feed your daughter. If I was, if I was on Empire, guess what my name would be? What? Juices Lions. Juices Lions. <laughs> Man. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of juice? My favorite kind of juice? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with cranberry juice. Yeah. Cause it clean out your system. Uh huh. Yeah. Cranberry juice. Uh huh. Cause it clean out your system. Yeah. I said cranberry juice. Say what? Cause it clean out your system. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said cranberry juice. Okay. Cause it clean out your system. Hey, What's your favorite? I like juice? the juice. The juice. That's gonna be great. Who we? Cause it be good and juicy and it tastes so great. Okay, okay. I put that cup. Uh huh. Right next to my plate. Uh huh. Mm. I ate my sandwich, took my juice straight to the face. You drink Ooh, it all? Don't mean to say it like that, because they weird. Uh-huh. Because I've been drinking apple juice since I was about two years. I said, hold on. Don't say it, because it's not weird. But I've been drinking juicy juice since I was about one year. Hey, Carlo Miller. Yeah. You made me think. What? I don't like grape juice, but I love grape drink. Grape drink? <laughs> I don't know what it is. What is that? But it tastes so good. It's damn good. It's in them bottles that you sit out in the hood. Out in the hood. We you got know that juice. juice that you got to shake. Uh-huh, okay. Because everything does fell out of place. Hey, out of place. I'll take a juice. You'll take a juice. One I can shake. One you can shake. With all the nutrients at the bottom of the place. It's out of the place. Don't stop. Don't you stop. We need to stop. We need to stop. I like the juice. You got to tap at the bottom. <laughs> We got the juice. 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 The juice is loose. Tell the truth. When you're drinking juice, don't you feel better? Uh-huh. You can be drinking some water, but you like whatever. Uh-huh. On another level. Okay. With two cubes of ice. Yes, sir. And you be watching TV like this juice is nice. This juice is nice. You say the juice. We gon' get paid. Gon' get paid. If you got water, add some powder, make it Kool-Aid. Kool and now it's juice. Juice, juice. You add some sugar. And the sugar. You take a sip. Mm, mm. Ain't it good? -a? Ain't it good -a with the sugar? <laughs> with the sugar. Yes, it did. I said the sugar, it did make the juice good. -a. Oh, yes. And we're going back to another. Very excellent spotlight. And today we're talking about juice. Yep, and if you didn't know. You, you didn't know, bro. And if you can go back and look at any of the 85 South Shore events or giveaways or pop-ups or, you know, any type, anything we've been doing around here, man, this brother always show up and show us love and bring us juice, man. Yeah, My man, Keon, Dave. What's up? 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 What's up?
bread. Had some of the best smoothies you can get. I remember the first time you came to one of our one of our events, man. And you know, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical about a lot of shit because I'm allergic to stuff. And you was like, nah, bro, I'm telling you, I got the one for you. I can look at you and tell. You need. And then you gave me some shit, and I was like, you was right, man. What type of magician is you, man? <laughs> this nigga's a juice magician. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, man, you definitely, definitely got a product that's uh, worth, you know, putting a light on, man. And, uh, Bruh, a lot of people don't know this about me. I am not the healthiest motherfucker, but I will juice anything. I'm not even a fan yeah. of a lot of the shit. But sometimes when you juice it, it hit different. Mm. Bro, you ever had a vegetable green juice and you just be like, nigga, what is this? But you don't really want to know. You just don't want to fuck oh, up no, the nutrition. Oh, no, you must have forgot. Remember them, <laughs> remember them juices we used to get that first season of Wild and Out? Bro, we used to get up early and walk to get juice, man. Mm. So to see a brother in the juice game, we got to show you much love. Man. Exactly. So give us, a little, Appreciate give us a little insight before we even get into the juice about, you know, who, who, who is Keon? Man, listen, man. Uh, first of all, man, I appreciate y'all boys, what y'all doing. Thank you, man. We appreciate you for showing us love. The dynamic bro. of everything. Thank you. Know you. What I'm saying? But uh, a little bit about me, man. I'm from Anderson, Indiana, man. Grew up, single mom, oldest of four boys. You know what I mean? And so. That's how you know you're a real black man. You say oh, yeah. four. Oh, yeah, four. You hit a certain point in your life where that, all your numbers just turn old. Yeah, black you man. take the you <laughs> are off the two, <laughs> three, four, four, five, five six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine got no end in it. Nine. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, fitting, fitting, fitting. Ooh. Come on now. <laughs> no, man, no, no, but no, for real talk though, man, I um, I started this joint, man, out of a gym, you know what I'm saying, in Alabama, and I was fortunate enough to get some contracts with Auburn University, made a whole bunch of money selling smoothies, bro. For real? About millions of dollars. Out of food truck. What? You gonna wow. really come on here and tell niggas Start like that? You nigga. made millions selling juice. Selling, selling juice. juice. We're doing this shit wrong. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm Look you, at me. You, I know. It's our last show. I you know, man. We're great. Juice truck. Juice truck. Yeah, we got that. competition yeah. now. Yeah. Come the on. Juice Brothers. Come, come on. on. Juice too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, was this something that you always been into? Like, did you grow up juicing? You know what I mean? Nah, or this just what made you get into it? Honestly, bro, I was, I was. Growing up, I was a kid that go to the McDonald's and I hit a, the machine, tap all them things, try that joint, pull that junk out, tap two of them, pull it out. But I didn't really think that. You don't get banned time. doing that yeah, shit, man. Yeah. We had a hood, hood yeah. McDonald's. Oh, it was okay. all right. It was all right. But no, we did. I did that joint for a while, man. But like honestly, it was really an idea me and my partner was doing. So in college, I was the I was the party guy. I threw all the parties. I made sure everybody was good. Right. You know what I'm saying. And so my partner was like, bro, I spent man, I spent two thousand dollars in the gym. I'm like, bro, how the hell you do that? He said, what? man, that's a dude in there got a smoothie bar, right? Oh. He sells smoothies, wrap salad. He said, I spend $40, $50 with me every day. I'm like, damn, that's a good idea. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was a gym I worked out in, and they was like, you know, they had a little spot that was available. They weren't doing nothing with it. So I went and hollered at them. I was like, bro, what y'all, you know, what y'all doing? And so from there, I was selling cars. And from there, three months, I opened up. You know what I'm saying? So I had a dope idea. I used to love the California raisins. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they, they man. Oh, yeah, they, they was true, hard. but. It was hard. A lot it of people true. don't remember when they used to do them California raisin yeah. commercial, bro. I didn't even eat raisins, man, but I, I used to love the California raisins, dog. And I did because they was a black group. Do you know that group? It was <laughs> the was Temptation. A, it was the Temptation, yeah. Right. yeah. I did. As soon as I said, I yeah. started eating prunes, too. Well, I wasn't eating prunes. <laughs> I, I did. Well, you I, was I, I, I wasn't Ray Charles a California raisin at one time? Nah, they kind of they kind of like did like a knockoff version of his voice. Oh, but okay. then they had the one that went popular was when they remixed the Temptation. Ooh, I heard it through the grapevine. Oh, okay. And then all the raisins, but they kind of looked like roaches a little bit. Yeah. That was the only thing they, about they, them. They, they, they was it was blackface. Yeah. Okay. It was real <laughs> fucked up. It was literally blackface. Gotcha. But it anyway, was dope though. It was dope. It was dope, dope. It was dope as hell. And <laughs> so I wanted a modern day version of them boys, man. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I ain't want to do nothing typical. And you know, all the smoothies, every smoothie company go to, it's tropical passion, yeah. mango this. I was like, man, I'm gonna name my junk after dances. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I came up with like the name name, electric slide, the ooh kill him. You know, I had and the, that the kill, That's my favorite one. That's the one. That ooh kill him. That's the one. That's yeah, the one I think that's right. what he gave me the ooh kill him yeah. first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the one. As soon as you hit it, you tear it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. So once I did that, bro, I came up with that, man, and I started in the gym. Yeah. And then I got a contract with Army University, so I ran the checkup there. That's Where you go to school at? Tuskegee. Oh, you went to Tuskegee? Shout out to Tuskegee. We always try to highlight that. HBCU, man. Man, you got something on your arm, too. Man, I play as Kappa. 
Oh, you know what I'm new. Yeah. Oh, flip flop wearing niggas. Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> Feature big. Nah, nah, you know you had to pay them rainbows. All you niggas the had your baby. toes that out. Was, that niggas was old had baby toes. That's why you threw the party. You was in the club with your toes out. Big Q, <laughs> big Q built nigga with the capitals. Like, nigga, you didn't made the wrong choice. Then you big man. I knew something was up. I could feel like the nigga wouldn't let me in the party. And nigga, go get Keon. <laughs> Tell these motherfuckers let me. I ain't wearing no outside. fucking button up shirt. Let me get in. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was different though, bro. I ain't, I ain't chill with a lot of cat, man. I, I kept my day ones. My day ones seen me through. So I was like, bro, I ain't finna switch up. I'm not finna roll with you because we got the same interests. That don't mean I still like you. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm gonna keep it. These are my boys. My boys kept it 100 with me. You know okay. What I mean? But yeah, we did that joint, man. And I, I was fortunate enough, man. I won a bunch of elevator pitch competitions, uh, National Urban League, Black Enterprise, Goldman and Sachs, 10,000 small business program. And then I, uh, I got a store inside Walmart. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Boy, so kill him. Yeah, yeah ooh, kill him. <laughs> that did it yeah. right there. Yeah, I got a store inside Walmart, but I knew that junk wasn't, it wasn't no, no money maker. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, it was like, a good business move, though. But it was a business move. So now everything else go up, price go up. Right. So now it's like, why this black dude, who's this black dude that got a store in Walmart? Right. Like, ain't nothing in Walmart but the Chinese ladies. You know what I'm saying? Subway. The, the subway, that type Wood of Wood Forest Bank. Yeah, yeah, they in it. <laughs> Wood Forest yeah, Wood They Forest in every Bank. Walmart. They got the game sold up, man. Wood Forest. I ain't never met a nigga with a Wood Forest account. They be lying in there all the time. <laughs> That's all they got in them, nigga. That joke was right next door. That's where I got changed from. Let me see if we can get some game from you right quick. Somebody who might be sitting at the crib with the juice in the kitchen. Yeah. Throw them a quick little recipe right quick. Ooh, that's easy. That's easy. So you got the juice in the kitchen. We're going to do a blend in the kitchen. Most niggas, ain't, they ain't really got no, juice. I gave them juice. Oh, I gave them, them juice. So what we're going to do, do is... You know the 85%ers will start on your ass. They're going to send me 100 boogies. <laughs> and then tell that nigga, we got juice. We got juice. Oh, here y'all go. <laughs> here y'all yeah. So we're going to do juice. We're going to do right juice out of smoothie for them. Oh. Juice is next when to this a Pyrex pot. The hashtag... Like, man, <laughs> you cooking for real, ain't you? The hashtag is 85 juices. Send me a picture of your juices, man. <laughs> start, start on Keon. Hey, yeah. show me, guys. Because I already know how y'all coming. Bro, T.I. came on here and fucked around and said the 85% of the they had no job. Ooh. I'm still getting tagged yeah. in job, bro. Job. I'm telling that nigga, we getting big bread. Man. Everybody ain't rapping, nigga. I make seven figures. I'm just like, like, these niggas make seven figures in a dump truck. This nigga getting money. Big money. <laughs> nigga dumping. For real. He dumping. <laughs> nah, with a, with a recipe, man, uh, I'll do a quick recipe. Like, um, you get you some cucumbers. Okay. You want something that's going to pull a whole lot of juice out, right? You know what I'm saying? So you want the cucumbers. That's what the cucumbers do? Yeah. The cucumbers See, now, you, juice now we getting in the right. juice. Hey, the juice cucumbers going to pull it. the juice out. Okay. okay. Cucumbers going to drop it. So you, that's a good base to use. Yeah, that's All a good right, base. For whatever you else you're putting in there. Apples. Okay. Apples gonna get you a lot. Yeah. Pineapples gonna get you a lot. Hell you know what I'm yeah. saying? They real heavy on the But when you though. juice pineapples, you don't really get the most out of the pineapple. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, you get that junk out of there. Okay, bet. You get that junk out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that junk out of there. So you're gonna do the cucumbers, you're gonna do the apples, you're gonna do the pineapples, and we're gonna throw kale in that thing. Got to. Go Got to. Throw kale in that thing. The kale hit different. With that uh with that um the kale, and then we're gonna do the um the celery stick. Okay. Now you know how funny it's gonna be with niggas in the grocery what store. You, asking look, for what all you call them that? Hey, man, I'm looking for some kale. Some shit <laughs> nigga told me to get, man. I don't know what it is, but nigga, I'm looking for some kale. I think it's like white people greens. <laughs> <laughs> look like weed. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But that, that's dope. What man. you call that? We call it the 85 stunner. All right, man. Okay. That'll work. Stunner. That'll work. Yeah. So, so what brought you to Atlanta? So what brought me to Atlanta, bro, honestly, I was, man, I was killing it ass in Alabama, bro. I mean, I shut down a Smoothie King, a Tropical Smoothie, and a Freshman. I shut them down. They got to go. You said that on camera. Now Smoothie King is like this. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get our get back. Yeah, we might edit that part out. Bring it. The Smoothie <laughs> King probably at the house. This motherfucker. That was the nigga that killed my Alabama numbers. Right. On your ass. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I New. did that joint, man, and they, they, they thought, started throwing a hammer at me. Mm. So I got, uh, first they started sending the health department at me. You know what I'm saying? Every week, it was the health department in my store. In one of my stores. I had six stores. Six stores, two food trucks. So every week, they was at one of my spots. Then that didn't work. Then I got audited by the state. I got audited three times God, by the state. Not the IRS, the state, bro. Eesh. And finally, they hit me. I lost about 175 cash. Killed me. I had to shut down everything. I still owned all my equipment. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing about credit. I just knew cash was king. You know, right. I woke up every morning and looked at my numbers. Like, yeah, hey, boy, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? But when they hit it, they had nothing to stand on. You know, yeah, I owned man. all my equipment, owned all my trucks. My wife was veterinarian, so she was like, shoot, bro, we, I can apply for some jobs out here. Let's go to Atlanta. 
Yeah, you stunning on us again on the low, bro. We, I don't, I'm just gonna let that cook for a second. <laughs> you mean to tell me you have married a successful black woman too? <laughs> just let that breathe for a minute, man. Yeah, and you do it in there so yeah. careful. You know my wife was getting married. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, the first thing I thought about was bunnies. I was yeah. like, she be saving bunnies. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> All the way live. You hit that one on the head. Bro, that was a Got her with the juice. Yeah, that's a whole yeah, other angle. It. You come at her with the juice. You're yeah. Like, yeah, nigga that took you on date. Nigga Bro, ain't never you, made you a juice. When you married a woman who's a veterinarian, you can, you can pursue your passion. You say, baby, I want to do juice. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I got to say I got these I got 50 dogs today. <laughs> you hey, made 50,000 dog puppy shots today. You good, she baby. She's a black veterinarian, too. Bro, I couldn't be no black veterinarian. You know how much white people are paid to say they pay? What? I'll be walking down that. It's not looking good. We in the business, bro. We in the business, He swallowed a tennis ball. He's going. You ain't see him take the gloves off. You ain't see him take the gloves off. That nigga's in the gloves off. Hey, what's the gloves? Come on, I'm sorry, man. It's but over with. Grove is not gonna make it. Uh, the surgery was touch and go. Well, actually, well, we got a special juice that I put together for my husband makes. It's 30000 a month, but it's so worth it. You know gonna need six months of physical therapy. And you me. And they 15000 a session. For real. You want him to go home today? <laughs> What? what you got on you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, you, you can't just stop there. You got to have somebody else walk out the back. Hey, man, I'm still trying, man. <laughs> hey, Mr. Uh, me, yeah. can you get with Jill and Billy on your way out? And we'll get, we're getting fluffy and bad. Hey, no, they do that on the way in. Yeah, what? They do that on the way in. They they pay, <laughs> man, come on. That's I ain't mean to cut you off, but that was a stunt. That was a stunt, stunt. Good boy. No, but honestly, though, bro, when I, when I lost it, bro, I lost everything, bro. I lost everything. I'm talking about everything. The only thing I had was my trunks. My so you didn't lose everything. And that's the thing. You well, lost some money. You lost some money. Yeah, you still didn't lose everything. Man. Man. Nigga, we lost it all. No. But you own the building. Right. Now I ain't talking about the building. Yeah. Yeah. I got the building, I got the trucks, I got, got the fruit. That money means so much to niggas. What y'all lose? Nigga, everything. Everything. You lose everything. Then nobody called. It wasn't no rules. It's a cold word. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Damn, I ain't lose everything. You didn't lose that. everything. Don't even put that in the universe. Almost. God, this is ungrateful. I gotta get him a veterinarian. <laughs> this nigga still had his trucks and all. He gonna say he lost everything. Lost the money got to lost some shit. <laughs> oh shoot. No, but that, but I did though. I lost almost everything. You took an L. I took this a big L. Took, took an L. Took That's a capital L. The capital L. <laughs> and so my wife said, she was like, freak, we moved down here, man. She held the fort down for about a year. Yeah. And so I had to get my mind right, bro. I had to get my mental right. You know, losing that type of that type of situation after you done built everything and you the golden child, you the, you know, you the example, you all this type of stuff. What you thought was gonna happen if you fucking shut down Smoothie King? I ain't know, bro. I just was thinking the same thing. I'm like, nigga. I bet Smoothie King had a lot to do with this. Yeah. He was like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the only one. He said three other ones. Them motherfuckers oh, oh. had a meeting on this nigga. Yeah, because the white man was like. They was on Zoom before the pandemic. There's this guy in fucking Alabama. Some fucking strong black man. <laughs> Chico, he was Smoothie the groovy just, or smoothie move. Right <laughs> exactly. Four bop, bop, bop. Out of here. Push the button. You juke out my Yeah. Push the goddamn button. <laughs> yeah, man. But I, that, all that joke happened, man. But then I, uh, I had an opportunity to, to bounce back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I had a strong bounce back. Um, I did a couple free events. I did a bunch of free events, bro. I moved down here. My account was terrible. Like, it was dead. Like, I, my first event I did was with E.T., and um, he had a little basketball camp, and I did it for free. You know what I'm saying? But from that event, I got booked on the Tyler Perry studio. Because somebody that watched E.T. seen the event, they pulled us on, and then from there, we just hit the ground running. Yeah. Man, I'm so fucking goofy. I'm thinking you're talking about the real E.T. I'm like, damn, you done got plugged <laughs> in with the aliens? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> entertainment tonight. <laughs> I know, I'm tripping. I'm like, damn, this nigga went from losing everything to E.T. came back for this nigga. Like, we heard about your juice on our planet, man. We want to give you a shot. We can holler at you. <laughs> I know you be, you everywhere in your trucks and shit, man. What is it like when you see, like when you pull up in the hood or you pull up in, you know, an urban spot? Well, where's us at? Where we are, and then you see a hood nigga get his juice for the I first love, time. Bro, I love that. And he was like, boy, what the hell in there, boy? Bro, I love it, boy. Ain't she delicious? Bro, I love boy. it, boy. <laughs> 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 I ain't never had no 
love it, man. What about her? Hey, she good, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the exact thing. Hey, she good, man. Hey, that's the exact thing. Niggas so used to eat <laughs> shit that's yo, got grease yo, in it and all that's that. That's automatic weed grind. Give a nigga something fresh. He like, my nigga taste buds ain't never worked <laughs> right before. He like, oh, you done activated some new shit, man. <laughs> now I've been chasing nuggets my whole life. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck is this? <laughs> nigga be laying like, my boy, this shit got in my knee hard. in the motherfucker right now. I don't know what he put on me now, man. <laughs> boy, man, new song, you win. <laughs> Oh man! So, so like, have, has your has your your experience been? Have you grown more since you've been here than you feel? Because you said had you had a bunch of success in Alabama, but since you've been in Atlanta, have, do you feel like you've been able to reach more people and and, and you know get yeah, more yeah, out in regards to your your business and brand? Well, you know the thing is, like in Atlanta, everything comes from Atlanta. Pretty much everything started in Atlanta. Um, and so being here, it allowed me to reach more people that have more influence. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's, essentially, it's the same thing. I'm, I'm playing the same game, but I'm able to reach more people with more influence that can put you on a bigger platform. Because everybody, everybody want to be in Atlanta, right? Everybody want to be a part of what's going on, what's hot. And now I can just set myself up right in front of them, and there's nobody that's doing what I do that look like me. You know what I'm saying? So that's I'm what I was about to ask you. Like, <clears throat> who have you got your juice to, like, that somebody was a fan of, like? And you see him, you're like, nigga, they drinking my shit. Like, who you had in a few of those moments were like, damn, you ain't fucking with the shit. 85 South. Come on, oh, man. They gonna God. think I set that up. You should have said somebody else. Uh, 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 but hey man, I tell you, like, the 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 first time I know I had it, I was like, man, this shit is delicious as yeah. fuck. Like yeah. that nigga nah, said. The first it. time I had it, I drunk three of them hoes back to back. I was so scared I was gonna shit on myself. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of fruit in there. Yeah. You know, you on there. <laughs> oh shit! I done shit! I done laughed. Shit! Yeah. At least it's a healthy shit. Cause that fruit shit be the loose one. You don't even know you got the fruit. It should sound like Steve coming out. Shit! Shit! <laughs> You, you don't even know you didn't shit. Your ass just get hot. <laughs> 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 and, and that fruit won't make your booty muscles work. You and I tell it? you another time, dude, just slide right out. When <laughs> you came, when you came to the uh, Wild and Outset, oh, yeah. you know what I mean. When you yeah. came to the Wild and Outset, everybody was like, man, you know, because it was a couple people out there. Mm -hmm. But then once. People got one of them fruit smoothies, and we was walking around with them. And me and Lowe's were the yep. first ones walking around with them. Then we came, we went in to do something, and came back out. That line was Boy, down, the motherfucker. I'm like, loaded. yep, got the ass. Yeah, yeah. that you know ain't man? even no hype, bro. You really got a great product. Tell me Appreciate what you got right here, though, man. So we got these blenders, man. What I wanted to do, man, one thing I want to do always is like make my name synonymous with the, the company. You know what I'm saying? With, the, right. with the industry. Drop your social media right quick. Smoothie Group. Everything Smoothie Group. Smoothie Group. Smoothie group. Smoothie group. Oh, damn, this bitch quality. Boy, oh, that's real deal. Yeah, this nigga got the Hold quality. That Hold that thing. Watch it blend. Uh, oh. oh. No cord. You don't see no cord, do you? Nah, ain't no cord. Ain't this no shit cord. is battery operated. No cord. You know what it be cold, Nene? Put a speaker on the back of one of these motherfuckers. Bluetooth? Bluetooth speaker, man. He already man. got the charger. And point, whenever, the charger you, everything. whenever you put certain fruits in here, it play the song based <laughs> off of the fruit that you about to make, nigga. That should be cold to the motherfucker. Yeah. And you just, whatever fruit smoothie you make, that's the name of it, nigga. Oh, yeah, that's an Isaac Hayes. I just put it yeah. there. Yeah. What's, the, what's these retail for? We retail for 45 Okay. Yep. It's a quality product. Yeah, Tell it is, man. Yeah, bro. That's real deal. That's my, that's my portable blender. We call them blend, the Groove and Go. Groove and Go blender. You can take them joints, man. You can put yourself in there. A lot of people make smoothies for work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then they got to blend them before they leave the house. Right, right. And then they melt and they don't taste the same, right? right. Well, with this, put all your fruit in there with you, take that junk to work, and you're ready to blend that junk. Hit the button. On the spot. Right. And you wow. got the safety mechanism where you got to hold the you shit before it comes on. And yeah. they got the motherfucker you put on the key ring. You put that you, thing you on, you your, on your hook, the little hook. They can walk around with yeah. that bitch on his waist, nigga. <laughs> the fuck That's is all. that you got, yeah. nigga? That's yeah. a juicer, nigga. Real yeah. nigga shit. Well, look, man, you know you always welcome over here at the 85 South Show, man. Yeah, Continue to right. grow your business out, smooth and groove on everything, man. Shit. Anything else? Hey, man, thank you. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you, man, if you ever see this dude anywhere, wherever you at, Hold up, get hold in line. the box up so that, look, when you see this logo right here, get in line. Anyway. Get in line. It's worth it.
Anywhere. Trust me. It's Anywhere. wherever you wherever you see smooth and groove at. It's worth it. Get in line. That money, whatever you need, he got what you need, guaranteed. We gotta take this international, bro. Cause we got a lot of people in South Africa. They be like, Loose, we want some of that juice. I'm not even sure that's how they talk. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, something like that. that. I was they just the Swedish they, they was South Africa. Yeah, that was a Swedish nigga. Yeah, you did. But they, they, they from, the message came from right. South yeah. Africa. <laughs> look, let's look, do look, it, man. They're on the side of the box. We got the big black man smiling. You can't beat that. Look at that. It's welcoming. Hey, look, right we got there. the real, like, we got barcodes and everything. Yeah. We're not doing this for fun. This ain't no knockoff ass real. shit, bro. Hey, man. And, that, and that's why we appreciate you coming over here, fucking with us on the 85 South Show. Right. Black yeah. business spotlights. Black excellence right here on the 85 South Show. Yeah, it's your man Carlos Miller. Chico Bean. Keon Davis. Let's get it. We out of here. Making love to your sister with some juice in my blender. Mm -hmm.